On each and every one of the last 365 days, I've thought about the events of August 3rd, 2019, of the 23 people we lost, of the families forever altered, but also of the response from the community in grieving, wrapping its arms around each other, and of the athletes that helped us all be El Paso strong. August 3rd to me is one of those days that uh, everybody will always remember where they were. Active shooter, mass shooting at the Walmart at Sierra Vista Mall. I was having breakfast at Julio's down the street from my house. I was at home, actually. I was just leaving. And my mom, she had told me, she's like, there's an active shooter at Walmart right now. And, like, I didn't think mu nothing much of it. I didn't know the actual details of the magnitude of how big this became. When it hits your hometown, you're kind of like, there's no way this just happened. It just consumed both my wife and I. Um, you know, it was it was to a point where uh, we didn't even want the kids uh, watching the news. I started texting my friends, my friends texting me, my family and everything, like, are you okay? Everybody's okay, yeah. Just like checking up on everybody. I was shocked. So I went home and started watching the news, starting to see what, what was going on. Our, our game got canceled, and I'm pretty sure real shortly after that. Our first reaction as a family is to take care of our own. In that situation, I felt like that was just my first natural reaction, take care of my own. What could I do to help my own? Everyone came together. Everyone helped each other out. Everyone was praying for the families. Uh, the shirts, everything that went on, it went quick. And I thought that was just very, that's amazing uh, what El Paso is capable of. As big a city as it is, like, it's, there's a small town feel, and, and I feel like everybody that, that grew up here in El Paso is connected in, in, in one shape, in, in one way or the other. Their end goal or, or person's end goal when something like that happens is to, to spread apart or divide us in some way, and at the end of the day, I think it does just the opposite. EP Fusion is right now, we're doing a fundraiser here at the Walmart. One, two, three! Yeah! I saw the girls, I was very nervous to meet them. And uh, I don't know why. I think it was just a sense of like, these girls just live something so historic. I don't know what the reaction's gonna be. And as soon as I come in, they're jumping all over me. I think soccer's a community. You know, it's a large community all over the world, but uh, you know, we all care for each other in, in, in times of need. That was the one, like probably the one football game that I really played that was that was the focus really wasn't just football and it was, it was just great. We just had the spotlight to just show show out for our city, show out for everyone we love, show out for the 20, 23 victims. What does the phrase El Paso Strong mean to you? I think it's life changing. Um, it defines our community. It defines how how united we are. Normal citizens, other shoppers that were there. Uh, that were coming to aid of, of people, the, the, the support that poured in throughout the entire city. It means that we're here, we're strong, and nothing's going to back us down. Love beats hate uh, every single time. The way the community of El, El Paso reacted was unreal. El Paso Strong is a really, really emotional phrase to me. Uh, it, just, it just gives me so much motivation. Well, something I'll never forget was the thousands of people that lined up that day to give blood. One of them, locomotive forward Jerome Kiesewetter. Now, he had just moved to Sun City from Germany in April. It didn't matter. He embraced El Paso. El Paso embraced him. And that sticks with me because I can relate to that. I'm not from El Paso, but it has become my home. It's people, my friends, and family. And together we will forever be El Paso strong. We'll be right back.